because this is not a test. This is rock and roll. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. You're waking up with the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Good morning. It's the morning app. We are all back together again. We took a small break on Friday because Dovey didn't want to get up and do the show without Ooh. us, which is understandable. I need some beauty sleep, guys. <laughs> Senior year, I need to, you know, sometimes you want to just, like, take a bath, get a charcoal mask going. You know, it's always... Is that really what you did? It always you know, goes back to the bath and the bath bombs. Dude, listen, y'all don't just... understand how how awesome baths are i feel like if you ask the average person how often they take baths they're gonna probably say maybe it's been years it's been years dude you gotta take a bath like once a week would it's just it's a lot of work so have we taken more baths than katie Dude, huh. I, 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 I know I'm taking more no, baths. Yeah, both of you combined. Oh, for like, sure, both got of you combined. But, but it's just a lot of work because I feel like you always have to clean the tub first because it's like, eh, I don't Do know you? what kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I clean. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I that's the thing. It's a whole ritual. It's like you have to set it up. You have to plan <laughs> it out, and you got to make time yep, for it. Yep, you have that's to set that's up. part of the relaxation. You know, you have to just say, "Hold up, world." Because you gotta bath. wait for the water to get warm enough. Yeah, I feel like most students are spending money on food, maybe outings, and here Dobie's going to all these different stores and buying different bath bombs and going broke. See, I've never used a bath bomb before. Oh, I so think far. the last time I took a bath was probably before the bath bomb trend. So that is one thing I I have always wanted to try one because it looks like the colors look cool. That mm. seems like it'd be a better experience. It is. It Although, is like the yeah. bubbles, bubble bath, man. That's yeah. Like, I think I prefer the bubble bath over the bath. Bombs. I do both sometimes. <laughs> Together, yeah. Yeah. Both. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll I'll splurging. I'll put in both. Splurging. Light candles. Put on an audio book. You know, you got you got to just okay. you got to mix it up. An audio book. Yeah. Who listens and wants to learn while you're in a bath? Who wants to read? Who wants to? <laughs> No, let's listen to music, Dobie. You can't Dobie. drop the book in the tub or anything. Exactly. A lot of people will watch in Netflix tub. in the bath. Yeah, or listen no, to music. That's no different than being in bed. <laughs> you want to make it... Except you're in water. You could listen to an audiobook anywhere. No, Why is it I don't, just I don't, a bath thing? Listen, I don't want to listen to an audiobook if I could be... You know, like, I don't know. It has, I can't just sit down in a chair and listen to an audiobook. Like, I have to be doing something along with it, like cleaning or like driving. Unless it's, unless it's taking a bath, because baths are kind of meant to be, you got to just clear your mind, just relax. How can you clear your mind and relax when you're trying to focus on an audiobook? I don't know. I, I like, I just, that's just what helps me that's relax. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I really can't that focus on audiobooks relaxation. because I just zone out and then it's like, oh, I just missed a whole chapter, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's. Zone out for that long, huh? <laughs> yeah. You never know. You're you never know. It's just, you know, you got to find your style. You got to find your bath style, you uh, know. Okay, well. Do your thing. Oh, okay. Some people like bath bombs. Some people like just straight up salt, you salt? know. Salt? Yeah, some people use, like, bath salts. Yeah, you got to uh, flavor the water, yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> you got to garnish. Drop, drop a couple onions in there. Parsley, yeah. Some potato. <laughs> what? You know. Now it's turning into, like, a cauldron. Some dough broth. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. I, I thought you'd be a listening to music type of guy, you know. That's, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm having trouble finding new music. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So we're going kind of off top. Yeah, we are. Uh, <laughs> back yeah. to, I guess, what we were originally planning on talking about. I guess we know Katie didn't take any baths in California, which is where you were at due Indeed. to some very important radio stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I won a scholarship to go to the Worldwide Radio Summit in California, which is really cool because I've never been west of Nashville prior to this. And so, yeah, I. it was crazy because it's one of those places that – you know exists. It's kind of like New York where you've mm. seen it in enough movies and you've seen, I don't know, like just your, my perception of it was very different. And then I also kind of, I don't know, I don't think that I consider that it was an actual real place, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you, 
we landed and I saw LA and I saw the Hollywood sign in the distance. You and I saw like, it? Ooh. Well, I mean, it was a, a while away. You know, like, okay. I but you didn't catch it. Like, kind of like just, oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, there it is. And then, like, a tree blocked it. And I was like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't see it again. But still, it was like, no, this is a real place. I'm yeah. on the opposite end of the coast. It's it's just weird. It's like it has star power. Yeah. You know, kind of like it when you see the Statue of Liberty for the first time or whatever Have you, else. I've never seen yeah. that either. You haven't seen the Statue of Liberty? No. I haven't seen it very cl like close up, but yeah, I've seen it from oh. Manhattan. It's really cool. Huh. Yeah, is. I bet yeah. you the Hollywood sign is no. pretty cool as well, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but it, it was... Um, the conference was actually in Burbank, which was near Los Angeles. Um, so you could still see Los Angeles from certain views, but it was a little more nicer, I guess, less, um, Is it busy. less crowded? Yeah. 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 And so I, um, it was really nice. The place where it was was kind of in the mountains a little bit, like where the conference was. So th there was this view where you could just see this like panorama of like some mountains in the distance and just the city. It's just crazy how much they packed into such a small little area there. Mm. Just like, uh, have you guys been to Los Angeles? Never. Mm. No. I mean, I've been to California, but I've never actually been to Los Angeles because I played Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the same thing. So yeah. you've been the, been yeah. You know it probably be <laughs> the streets. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've been around. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Was everything completely free? Like everything paid for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, which was that's really a better feeling. Really? And you're really <laughs> happier in California. Yeah. Well, and it was so since it was a worldwide radio summit, I didn't really consider this beforehand, but there were people from other countries there too. Whoa. From other like Australian radio stations, like BBC radio. Other countries have radio? I know. No what a thought. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there were other countries. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just didn't think, you know, you with things like that, you're like, okay, there'll probably be two people from yeah. somewhere else there. But there were actually a decent amount. <laughs> and I don't know, how much do you guys know about, like, BBC radio Dude, and, like, nothing. other, I've other radio stations? I've figured out that other countries have radio, so yeah, absolutely not that. Okay, no, we, I, we learned a lot because I asked many questions. <laughs> and so they, um, first of all, they don't have advertisements at all because Lucky. it's their, wow. the taxes pay for the radio. Like the kind of lucky, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I don't know. I, I think it varies, but yeah, basically it's the government that like puts yeah, like pays for. So they don't have advertisements, which also kind of puts a little more pressure on them to have more content, I guess. But um, and then also I asked them too. I was like, so is there some a little bit of resentment towards radio since you have to pay taxes on it, whether you actually listen to it or not? And they were like, uh, not really, because most people find it entertaining. But I was still wondering, like, I don't know, you, if you didn't have, if you didn't listen, you'd be like, I'm paying taxes. Right. Like, you just have to pay for radio. Yeah. I, I don't know. But I, uh, but apparently most people really like it. Like, okay. there's yeah. <laughs> very few people that would have a problem have a problem with it. But see, do they like it more that there's no advertisements? Is that why they're okay with the taxes and they enjoy radio more? Yeah, because see, I'd almost prefer paying taxes on radio and not having like advertisements. I don't know. I just I don't talk, know. I, I'm trying to do my taxes because like, it's coming up and my dad's uh, working with me yeah. and he just told me how much I owe and that, uh, that's my yeah. money and the government's taking it and I'm not too thrilled about that. Yeah, you don't even know where I, the majority of it's going. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, know. You can guess like some of the stuff, hmm. you know, like military, space force, whatever. But okay. I, but I do hate advertisements. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just in general. They, mm. Radio's gotten more creative, though, with advertisements, so they don't feel quite as... Have they? ...annoying. I mean... They have. Yeah. Yeah, they get a little bit more... They add so a little bit more flair to it. Yeah, so they're so more entertaining. I mean, even television advertisements, they've gotten to where they can make, like, the Super Bowl advertising. Yeah. And just, they're trying to make viral videos still. Like, oh, look at this commercial. Heck, the Super Bowl advertisements were terrible this year. So you know what? The, our tax-paying dollars, they, they could go to better use. They could. Okay. Just eliminate. I'm just saying. All ads. Mm. Well, Katie, you had a great time? Mm -hmm. You happy to be yes. back? Yes. Are you? It yeah. It's colder here. I, I know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very colder. All right, we got a great show for you. Here's Evanescence Bring Me Back to Life.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. Back here on the morning app. Today is April 1st, which means it is April Fool's Day, which, again, kind of like St. Patrick's Day. I didn't really pay mm -hmm. much attention to this holiday. Yeah, I it's forgot good. it was coming. No, but it's something that's good to note all day long. If someone tells you anything Wrong. that sounds a little outlandish. If you're not a prankster, <laughs> at least knowing it's April Fool's Day yeah. is going to be really nice. Uh, if you're gullible like me, <laughs> yeah, oh, I, so I believe gullible. everything. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And it's really I'm gonna keep forgetting, and I'm just gonna get fooled. Anyways, I always like to see what websites do. You know, sometimes websites oh, yeah. will try to come oh. up with some kind of. Has uh, Google done yeah. anything? Because uh, I feel like Google usually does something. They almost always do something. I know, like see. YouTube, one year did a, uh, like uh, this thing called Snoop Vision where every video you watch, every viral video you watch has a reaction video. Like you can turn a, turn like a mode on within the video that takes you to Snoop Dogg sitting in the theater in a 360 view watching the uh, the viral video. So you can like, what? it's like a VR experience. And they said like, we're gonna incorporate, like Snoop's gonna start like reviewing every movie on YouTube or something. Or like every little clip on YouTube, but. Yeah, I mean, you can still find them, I think. They're still on there. Ah. Snoop the Vision. Snoop I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through what companies had, like, good pranks. I guess one airline once convinced everybody that they had a flight to Mars, and people actually believed it. Pretty good deals, it looked like. And then, I think last year, Netflix... What, what were the rates? I think $99. Oh. Okay. For a trip to Mars, they had, like, fantastic. they had, like, activities at the hotel I that you could do. Oh, yeah. I would do economy class for that. Yeah, that's a great deal to go to mars hello mm, yeah. it may take a little bit yeah. but yeah. you want to have good leg room but mm. maybe 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 first class is the move there collect some sand, <laughs> sand <collection. laughs> on mars yeah and then last year netflix apparently announced that it had acquired actor seth rogan <laughs> rogan has entered into a lifetime deal to transfer full <laughs> ownership of his personal autonomy to netflix incorporated Wait, what? Oh, so nice. Yeah, so I guess last year that was a thing. I think I they would have like a monopoly on him. Yeah, he they just owned him. Any... <clears throat> they owned him in every way, shape, and form. Oh. Yeah, that's a big deal. So it's just a couple of the things um, that companies have, you know, done over the years. Mm, I remember last year there was someone. Who was it? Um, there was. My dad, like my whole family, big Panthers fans, and there was some, you know, there's always rumors that like, oh yeah, we drafted this person, you know, like on right. April Fool's Day, and then my dad will get all excited, and he's like, look at this, and he's like, I was like, dad, what's today? Yeah, <laughs> so, the worst, And then the dude. defeat, just the defeat. <laughs> I hate that. It's really sad. I hate f figuring but that out. People always do stuff like that, and the articles look real. It's just yeah. See, it's it's worse when you do a prank and it goes bad. Have you guys ever done that? A prank where it goes wrong? No. no. How wrong? No, I I was always hesitant to prank. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. I've only pulled off one successful prank. And it was against my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, right? I um. We were at the beach, and he got Mike and Ike's, like, in the little box, and then <laughs> my dad got hot tamales, and so I made the discovery, <laughs> the observation that the hot tamales look a lot like the red Mike and Ike's, and my brother hates spicy things, or, like, he, d he m doesn't mind them now, but back then, this was quite a few years ago, he hated spicy things. It's so simple. <laughs> it's so hard. It's brilliant. So it's just I just put yeah. a bunch of them, like, See, you not too many, but just a bunch of them in there. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I, used, I remember out. one of my favorite ones as a kid was, like, um, putting saran wrap over the toilet seat. Oh, no. <laughs> How do you not terrible. see that? It's super simple. If you just, yeah, if you do it right, it looks like, you know, if, if somebody wakes up in the morning, yeah, they're not yeah. like, is there saran wrap on my <laughs> toilet? And so, you know, you oh you goodness. do your job, but it just splashes yeah. everywhere. Cause, but that's so gross. Yeah. That's so gross. It's... it's that's what boys do. Yeah, you know? okay. It's just kind of like when I know. Because the boys don't clean it up, right? Yeah, we just <laughs> leave it there. Um, 
we actually have a whole bunch of April okay, Fool's Day Okay, yeah, let's ideas, hear it. Though. We, we let's some, get away from the saran. Um, so, again, I mean, these are pretty harmless, but, I mean, okay. they're still pretty annoying. I, I found a whole bunch of good uses out of an air horn. Um, <laughs> are we on the same website? <laughs> yeah, I think so. They're, they're, so one of them is, like, you know, instead of having a door stop, use an air horn. Just duct tape it to where wherever that handle is going to hit the wall as you open the door. So when people open the door, it just... Yeah. Basically spooks them. <laughs> See, I got I got the opposite. Put it under one of those office chairs, so when someone yeah, sits down yeah, on yeah, it, no, yeah. that's so that's funny. even worse. <laughs> uh, okay, you were coming for you. There's some this one. You don't need to check under the chair. <laughs> some people go as far as like planting uh, seeds inside of people's keyboards. Seeds. Yeah, what? like see, like so that grass would grow from it. Over, I don't know if that can happen overnight, but it definitely you know, can't. Doing, uh, it's kind of no. like making your keyboard into a chia pet. You'd have to do it in advance. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. You'd have to plan that. Uh, Genius level type pranking. Uh, I don't know. I guess painting soap with clear nail polish and just leaving that in the shower. I don't know what that would that, do. I oh, guess, I just read it. That I, it, like you get no it, soap. It just wouldn't work, yeah. right? You have a broken soap bar. A broken soap bar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dumping out all we could have done this to Natalie. Getting all the Germex, like okay. dumping out the actual hand sanitizer mm -hmm. and just replacing it with like lubricant or something that would just never, ever like ever go just down. Just, right, it just, it just, just keeps. She she's would, not dumb. She's not I, listening, right? No, uh, she, I would not advise that. No. <laughs> or just replacing all her Taylor so, Swift CDs no, with Ariana no, Grande CDs. <laughs> Oh, no. That would have been an idea. That would have been, uh, well, that's just a, you know, death wish, really. That's not yeah, Natalie's not someone you mess with. Um, <laughs> something, uh, this is a classic, dude. I mean, this is simple. If you just, if you're, if you're, if you're craving a, a good April Fool's prank and, you know, you don't want to put in too much work, just get some Oreos, right? Oh, no. It's a ton of work. The fun, the fun part is you get to eat the white center off of all the Oreos that you can and then just take a tube, uh, no. a, a toothpaste no. And just put the toothpaste no. on the cookie, and then put package it back into uh, into that, the, into the Oreos. That that's a lot of work. That's a lot. That's of a lot work. more work and than that's yeah. A little. Oh, I hate mint but and chocolate. The, the best pranks that are. That combo is. Oh. You could also, if you're talking, if you are willing to put in the work, you could also completely sticky note someone's car. That's been a that's been a, I, a yeah. recent. I've done a few pranks in my time. One was sticky noting someone's entire office. It was to help my dad when I was a little kid. So he, he I was the uh, scapegoat. I was to blame when something went wrong. But I sticky noted someone's entire office. And then this is where it went wrong. I he he told me to duct tape this person's chair completely. So mm -hmm. I wrapped it up and duct taped it. Well, I left the jacket on the chair. So when they went to cut it out, they cut the jacket too. Oh. So that was the end of the pranking for. Oh. For that time, but it, it was pretty for good. For that time, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that person the, had enough. Yeah, that, the that. great prank war last year. Yeah, me and a uh, former program director, Kristen Kugelbert, had had some good pranks. I, I had one that didn't go well either because I stuck one of her toys in Jello, and she did not appreciate that that toy went in Jello. Wow, well, um, I don't understand how that's a prank. Like, cool, I get my stuff and Jello. It was like floating in jello, jello. but yeah. I, I just wanted to see it if it worked. It did work. It from earthquakes. It just <laughs> ended up kind of sticky afterwards, so yeah. not I'm not not to the say the cleanup best, is the problem. Yeah, not the best prank, but hmm. worth it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got one that's actually terrible, especially if you hate onions. Anyone here hate onions? Oh. I, I don't know what this is. Caramel apple? Yeah. Yes. Take an oh onion, dip it in chocolate, put it, it on a popsicle stick. You say that onions are supposed to taste like apples if you close your nose, like if you have your nose pinned or something like that. They have the same taste, technically. Until you smell it, the, ch the taste changes. So you ever heard that? I you, haven't heard that. Like, yeah. like the, we'll taste, do, the food can taste, and uh, like they say that like the food that you taste is like 50% of the, what you smell. We'll do so, a taste test. So reasonably, if you had a caramel onion, right, you were thinking it was an apple, 
The caramel smell would distract you from the onion smell. Maybe. And you, it might take you a few bites I don't to know. realize. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's it would the not. It would you take would, one bite. You would feel the texture, and you'd probably be like, okay. oh, this is an onion. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. We can, we can do it on the morning show. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can what? test it. No, no. Test no. It. Yeah. You guys can. I'll Katie, you're supervise. part of this. No, no. Mm. Well, if you do prank anybody, be careful out there, because it could yeah. go Yeah, be nice to badly. people. Mm, we have Bring Me to Life, Evanescence, here on the morning app. <laughs>
on 90.5 WASU and WASURadio.com. It's a Monday, which means it is time for Would You Rather? And no uh, April Fool's type Would You Rather today. We just got a nice little fun list here. So, would you rather get away with lying every time or always know that someone is lying? Well, see, that is April Ooh. Fool's related. <laughs> yes, that's no. kind of April Fool's related. You'd know if someone was trying mm. to prank you. Someone's trying to dupe you. But then you could also always get away with... They so pull. whatever prank you try and pull, it's going to... Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You can get away with any lie. So yeah. you could say, dude, I'm blue. And people would be like, yeah, I guess. You're blue. You're the color blue. You're they right. They believe it, yeah. They believe it. Come up with any lie. Yeah. Man. Get away with lying. I'd rather... Time, yeah. if you, I mean, dude, it's kind of... You also don't want to know who's lying either sometimes. Uh. You know? I kind of do. I want to know when someone's lying. Yeah. How's my mixtape? Yeah. Oh, it's fire. What? <laughs> Are you lying to me? Nah, I, I'd probably go with that option, though. With what? Because if somebody figures out that all my lies work, then it's like, you know, I'm the kid who cried wolf. Hmm. Nobody would trust me. Yeah. Yeah, but you'd get away with it every time, so they'd never know. <laughs> yeah, you could just be like, that's not true. Yeah, like, you're, oh, like, okay. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. I don't know. Yeah, I'd probably still go with, like, trying to figure out who's lying to me. Yeah, I'd like to yeah. know if someone's lying to uh, me at all points in time, because then I can call them out on it. Yeah, I, I don't think I am not really a prankster, so I don't think I'd... Katie, you're not a prankster? I'm wow. Prank I've only pulled off the one successful prank, <laughs> as mentioned earlier. <laughs> and I didn't actually lie to him. He just didn't know that I had put them in there. Yeah, there was no... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're all going with yeah. knowing that That's someone is sad. lying. That's sad. I don't I like so. it when we all agree, but it just, it's just a better it's option. It's unanimous. Yeah. yeah. All right, fine. What about this one? Would you rather have no taste buds or be colorblind? I'm taking colorblind. Mm. I think yeah, it's all going to be unanimous no. again. I'm taking taste buds. Do you rather have blind. no taste buds? No. no. So everyone that has had, to, like, because my grandpa, he's been having trouble with, like, taste buds, too. And it just, things taste different. Like, you know, I think he had a bad tooth. Or, there was something with his tooth where he, like, just couldn't, I don't know, things just tasted different. Oh. And so, like, I, I, it would bother you more than you'd think it would. Hmm. Not having any taste buds at all. Yeah, no taste buds. You can't taste anything. Oh, no, that would be a nightmare. I would just say the reason why I would say no taste buds is because then it would just, I would just eat more healthy Oh. You know, I could eat stuff that tastes like soap, really, you know, because it's just... Yeah, yeah, but it'd be such a chore to eat. Yeah. But yeah. then what if something is bad? What if something went stale or that's true. and you wouldn't know? You're just eating it. That's that's a good uh. point. You'd have to be way more careful if it's under A lot food poisoning, yeah. You you have to, you'd probably pay more attention to, like, textures and stuff. But. Yeah. But then again, if you're colorblind, you won't know if you're eating yeah, raw I chicken mean, either. I don't know or how that works. What? No. Completely. You wouldn't be able to see it. You wouldn't be able to see the I color. Think, you can see Maybe. different colors, right? Well, you're colorblind. You only see, what, black and white? No. Is that true? I don't really know mm. how it works. You just can't distinguish certain kinds or yeah. something. I'm not sure. I guess it would, so completely colorblind. I, I just I, thought everything was black and white. No. Or gray. I forget what color it is that people say that they, like, supposedly see. It can be different like, kinds. sepia, right? I don't remember. Like, those kind of colors. Yeah, like, it's almost like living in a filter. Hmm. But then how do they know what color it is? Because they don't know what color it is anyway. Well, I mean, that's a problem. Yeah, I so they know. can't describe it. Like, oh, it's that pinkish hue. Okay, what's pink? They don't know. Yeah. Well, okay, wait. If you went completely colorblind, could you still get those glasses that people get? <laughs> you know what to I'm make, talking to about? Make those yeah. fake YouTube videos. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, have. People what? that, like, pretend like they were colorblind, and yeah. then they get those, like, glasses colorblind and, like, fixing out, yeah. glasses, and then they just, yeah, just to get views. And have you never work? seen that? No, and it doesn't work. Dude, it gets, it gets, like, millions of views because they have these kid audiences, but... They get a whole bunch of dislikes because grown ups will see it and they'll be like, dude, what are you doing? It's like uh. so fake. <laughs> it's so fake. Yeah. I didn't know that was even a thing. I don't know if YouTube? those glasses will. I mean, do I don't know work? how well. I Supposedly, yes. I don't know how well they work, though. But. Well, they act like they act like the, everything is in black and white and then they put on these glasses and then, you know. Yeah. But it's I, not how it works. But some people who. I think they just get to see colors they haven't quite seen before. Like, some people are only partially colorblind. Right. 
That's what I think. I don't know. I like gotta look into that a little bit more. But I'd still ditch the taste buds. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going colorblind. I'll take the colorblind yeah, over yeah, food. Too. I need food. I need that but taste. I just, I can't, I don't want eating to be a chore. Yeah, I know. I enjoy it way too much for it to turn to yeah, a chore. Yeah, I don't even... Oh, that's a good point. I don't need to see but color. But I still do it. Okay, well... I still do it. <laughs> that's a good point. It would be difficult. All right, l- last one. I, I like this one a lot. Okay. Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or in a broken elevator? Hmm... I am taking the broken elevator. That is on my bucket yeah. list. I want on your bucket it. All list. I've ever wanted is to be stuck, <laughs> be stuck in, in an elevator. elevator. That's you, all I've wanted. I mean, at least you get a view with a with a ski lift. But it's also cold. And you're up way higher and get, like you're not enclosed in a capsule. With the elevator, you are. In a yeah, and you're also extended. I mean, like if that thing snaps, you just. Whoosh. I mean, same for the elevator. Also, but you will, you might, if you're yeah, on a right. ski lift, you're either by yourself or somebody you know, right? Yeah. In an elevator, it the could game, be someone you know. It could, but it could more likely be somebody that's just in the building that also needs to take that same elevator that you don't know, and you know you just got out of lunch, and everybody's gassy, and you're with a, a bunch of gassy strangers. That's, that's what, what we're basing this. That's what could happen. <laughs> That's what we're basing it That's off. my biggest fear. <laughs> I'll take That's the your cold. Biggest fear right and you there. know what the Just great part about uh, being in a ski lift is? You're outside. Y'all can fart away. No one's gonna. <laughs> no one's what? gonna How? have any issues How with did that. that. <laughs> I'm just okay. saying, dude. I mean, elevators, dude. Elevators get hot. They get humid. If they're it's a lot cold of, on a ski you lift. got a lot of people on it. Wind what is blowing. the what is the duration of how long you've yeah. stuck on it? If it's like 24 hours, and I don't know. Until how cold is it. it outside? How warm is it's it? It's insane. Cold as it is at Sugar Mountain or Appalachian Ski Mountain, you know, when on a cold night. I don't know. A cold night, so that's what. Okay, because that's on different. A night. Than, okay. Just take, okay. Yeah, it's a broken, cold night. It's a broken ski lift. I can't. <laughs> I, I, I there's no know. parameters. There, I need parameters. Yeah, we need so. parameters. I got none. Well, okay, it's exactly I mean, in that case. It's I exactly have to take the 63 ski degrees lift. Fahrenheit inside the elevator, and it's exactly. No, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's you want parameters, parameters, don't you? It would not be that comfortable. No. It's exactly 65 Dude. degrees on Instead both of a ski metal lift box. and the elevator. Yeah. 60? No, no, no. It'd be like 80 something in the elevator. You don't know that. Some elevators are really cold. They are. I wonder if the elevator stopped working. Would like, hmm. Yeah, I wonder. I would do the elevator if I was by myself. I think I think just people always freak out. There's always somebody that freaks out when the elevator gets stuck. That's fair. If you got stuck in wait. there with someone who was just really anxious. Yeah, it's just then, you, then, then you get anxious and you're like, dude, yeah, stop. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. At least you'd know if someone was coming to help. Farting. Out of sk- I really I can't. I don't know why. Fart when they're nervous. <laughs> I really can't wait. I, all I've wanted is to be stuck in a broken elevator all my life. Gassy elevator. That thing. Okay, <laughs> we need to just stop. So much fart. It could probably move it back up. <laughs> All right. We're, we're done here, Dovey. Stop. We're Why? done here. <laughs> Other side of the break, we have relationship talk. We're going to get down to the bottom of something here on the morning app.
And now back to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Time for some relationship talk, and I've had an issue, not an issue, just a discussion, an argument with uh, my girlfriend for some time, and I'm going to get you, oh, you yeah. two. Okay. You two are going to help me out. It's um, been a while since we've talked about this. It has, because we haven't really all been together yeah. since we talked about it. We, we what, teased it for a while, yeah, but I, yeah. Yeah. I just, I just want to know. Finally put this discussion to rest. She still won't believe me whether either way, and I probably won't believe it either way if you guys go against me here. Hmm, but okay. early on, before me and my girlfriend started dating, she friend-zoned me. And I mm-hmm. will take that to my grave that she friend-zoned me because okay. I shot my shot. And doesn't mean it was a good shot, mm. but I did shoot my shot. And her argument is, I didn't shoot my shot. It was a terrible <laughs> shot if it was a shot. And that she didn't friends with me because it wasn't a shot. Okay. But I have the text messages yeah, here to prove shot. it. Uh, backstory on it, we started off as news break partners because here at the station we have a news break where one news person comes in, does you know regular news, and then I'm a sports guy and I do the sports news. Okay. So we always teamed up and always came in and helped her upload and mm-hmm. do all the different stuff with the news break. And it all started, I got friend zoned when I wasn't going to be on the news team anymore. And I was giving her a new partner. And I texted, yeah, I know. And I texted her, I was like, hey, you know, um, someone else had taken over my break. And she asked why. And I was like, oh, because he's a newbie and he needs experience and it takes a load off of me. And I ended it with, I'm disappointed our killer news team duo of you and I are breaking up because we were Mm -hmm. clearly the two best. And her response to that was, ha ha, aw, I wouldn't say so. I'm still a newbie too, but you kill it. I'm like, okay, this is good. Yeah, like, yeah. We're, we're doing good, good start. Here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I went, yeah, but you are a veteran newbie who does a good job. Maybe we will get to team up again one day if the world is ready for us. And she was like, yeah, haha. Thank you for all your help, though. So she, you know, she went there, and then I kept trying to keep oh, the man, conversation going. Yeah. Dobie, mm-hmm. you've read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 she's yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> oh, she's no. getting ready. Oh, she no. shut me down already. Um, it away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Beat eventually. Here, here, here's where it really gets down. I go, oh, uh, and hopefully we will see each other more outside of parties, too, because we were talking about the last comm party we had mm-hmm. together okay. and how we bonded over some, there was a magician at our comm party, and it was really cool. Hold on, what? Yeah, one, of, those, one of the guys in the communications department actually did magic tricks, so we bonded over that at a party. Oh. So I brought that up. I'm like, of course, we are the magic debunkers, blah, blah, blah. Like, we, you know, we watch it. And then I'm like, hey, and hopefully we will see each other more outside of the parties, too, because you are really cool, and it'd be nice to get to know you better. And then I got hit with the, ah, thank you. Oh, oh yeah. Um. Oh, and man. after that, I was just like, don't worry. Okay. We will hang out, I hope. We will get the dynamic news duo back together. And then no response. Oh, that was, oh that no was response? It. Yeah. Dude, okay, yeah. you definitely, okay, you shot your shot, but it wasn't it, good. It wasn't good. No, so no, it wasn't. But it, you could tell the whole conversation, though, that you were trying to keep it alive, which most of the time girls will catch on to. They're like, wait a second. This conversation was dead 10 texts ago, but this guy is still trying. Yeah, I tried. Grasping at straws, kind of. No. I tried. But do you think you, do you think ladies will be like you know let me just see how much longer I can no, get trying to I don't think so if if anything it seemed like she was trying to kind of shut just it down just it like eh, I don't know where he's going with this like I'm just gonna be nice but because most of the time okay most of the time if I see like a guy's trying to like keep a conversation going I'll try back if I'm like interested but yeah. then if you kind of shut things down if you're not now here's the thing is that the all thank you because yeah, I got the all thank you yeah, but you didn't even admit it to me in person that an all thank you is a friend zone and Katie you've said that too yeah okay but, I mean it's still like, not directly uh, why thanks, did you say buddy. that I don't know what to say about if it was like oh thanks pal thanks buddy thanks bro it would have been like, like ooh. H- how do you how do you go from me texting and being like it'd be nice to get to know you better and we can hang out outside of parties and then yeah, I get an she aw, didn't thank say, you. she didn't even say like you too or anything yeah. she just said yeah. aw thanks and that's pretty blatant again love my girlfriend like, should, oh, I just no, no, yeah, I'm out from here, but no, she, <laughs> she might have just needed time to be like, hold yeah. on, let me get away from the text. Let me think about this. Yeah. And if he hits me up again. No, she she definitely was talking to someone at the time, too. So, like, wow. it definitely wasn't a let's step back. She was not interested at all. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. So, well, yeah, it, you know, worked out now. Yeah. I just wanted to know if it was a friend zone because I, feel, I felt okay, friend so, zone at the time. Okay, so I want to hear the continuation of the story, though. What happened after these texts? 
Like, how did how did, did get you back recover? The yeah, how did you <laughs> like get back? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was in the. Uh, it was like a while ago though. Like it was a long time until like a good couple of months. Because oh. I think this happened in maybe I, I don't even remember. No, I can't. I can't remember. But I think it was a good four months or so, and then eventually she was here in the station when she wasn't talking to that guy again, and I came in, uh, Howie, a former co-host of the mm-hmm. morning show, was in there talking to her. I came in to say hi to them both, because I still knew him, of course, very well, and yeah. her somewhat. <laughs> oh. yeah. Well, I got friend zone. I, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I shut down yeah. after once, that. Once you get okay. your friend zone, oh, no. you just move on. Yeah, you yeah. just yeah. try and recover. Yeah. yeah. But, Take you know, and then she was working on a problem, a class issue, and I helped her come up with several ideas, and eventually um, she, like, we just stayed and talked for a long time. I was supposed to actually go to a uh, interview in Asheville, and I was supposed to leave, but because I went in there and said bye to Howie and, you know, hey to my girlfriend Lizzie, because she was talking to me a lot, I was a sucker <laughs> and stayed, even though I'd gotten friends and I stayed an hour longer than I was supposed to. I got to my interview just on time in Asheville, oh, but because dude. Howie left the room and left me with my, you know, now girlfriend, and I just kept talking to her because we were having a good conversation. That one shot. I, I was like, okay, I got friends on once. Let's 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 try it again. And I was helping her with her class project and coming up with ideas and what to do. And eventually left just in time to get to my interview. But I called her up on the road because I thought about something she could do differently with her project. And that was when she told me that that's when she's like, oh shoot, like he's actually kind of interested in boyfriend her? material. Yeah, call I just random. Yeah, I called her because I had a Bold. random idea. At a, yes, yeah, that's a, that's a better that's, shot. Yeah, it's, no, it's that's a, better a much shot. better shot. <laughs> <laughs> because we. We were talking about what she could do for a project, and on the road, I thought about what she could do for her project, and yeah, I called her up from no, a gas station. I was like, hey, awful. like, you could do this, and she didn't, like, go, aw, oh, thank you there. She was just, like, better about it. Oh. <laughs> but that, yeah, so, you know, there persistence. You go. There you go. Yeah. Persistence is key. Yeah, Did you sometimes friend me? people just need time. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it could have been... It could have been a friend zone. I could it see wasn't a great shot. I could yeah. see how it was. It know. wasn't a great shot. I understand. But that. it was a shot nonetheless that was shut down. Even if she didn't realize it was a shot, she still shut down. It like was me even testing the water. Yeah. 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 And it just that water was whether cold. intentional or not, you know, it just it happens. But it works out. Yeah. So you know, yeah, if you get did. moral of the story, if you get friend zone, because Dobie, I know you've gotten friend zone. You've told me you've gotten friend zone before. At least I yeah, think you. Yeah. I'm you, pretty sure I've gotten. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody gets friend zoned yes. once. That's that happens. Yeah. And yeah. girls get friend zoned. We always get the crap about how we're the ones always friend zoning. Yeah, I've even it made happens. very direct, like, uh, back, like, when I was at Wake Tech in community college, I asked a girl out, and I said, hey, do you want to get coffee sometime? Like, just like, I don't know if that's a du- that's pretty direct, that's right? right? Yeah. yeah. That's and then her response, I think, at the time was, oh, I've gotten one of those before, so... <laughs> That's a straight. Uh, yeah. And I said, huh. She said, might as well harmonize on, on top of it. But, yeah, friend zoning, it happens to all of us, you know. Okay. Got to get. And if you get friend zoned, you, you can either move on or, or give it time. Work out. Yeah. Just yeah. give it time and stop yeah. stressing about it, honestly. Yeah. You know, it wait, worked if you're out for you. Be, yeah, if you're meant to be with someone, you know, it, it works out in the end. But, okay, well, thank you, guys. I'll bring this uh, news to her. I think she's listening, so. Uh, good. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, we got Bring Me to Life here on the morning app.
And now back to your favorite morning talk show, The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. It is April 1st, and if you haven't noticed, we've only been playing Evanescence here for the morning. We would have done that any other day. Not just the band, a very specific song. (laughs) Bring Me to Life. Oh my goodness. It's Monday. It's, it you know, was a favorite you know. of mine, but I think after hearing it, what, three times in a row, it's just too much. I think it's more of my favorite now after yeah, hearing no, it it's four just, times. I let it marinate in my brain a little bit, so now okay. get something different every time I listen to it. Okay. You know, just a new experience every time. Yeah. So, yeah, we, 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 we kind of apologize, but at the same time, we really don't because I think it's been worthwhile. This has been my favorite show just because we've been able to play. We've been wanting to do this great. for a long time. Yeah. Just you Monday. guys have? Yeah, I, mean, yeah, we about it. I feel like we try Secretly. to find every excuse to put that song in our Yeah, in our well, I knew that, but I shut we, it down most times. Yeah. We've talked about it before, just playing an entire show of uh, Bring Me Back to Life, yeah. And this is the or Bring Me to Life. I keep calling it Bring Me Back to Life. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Bring You're not even life. a true fan of the song. It's, uh, <laughs> well, it's just, it gets through to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, going back to the Facebook poll from, it was a while ago. Yeah. Pineapple, um, pizza pineapple. versus. It was like a week and a half ago. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a good bit ago um but we had a very controversial yes discussion <laughs> finish um about whether or not you know people like pineapple on their pizza and so we decided to take this out to the the social sphere and uh, on facebook there was a poll that we put up and it was pretty down the middle mm-hmm. so 46 percent of the people out of this out of like 52 votes you had 46 percent saying they prefer pineapple on their pizza those are the best and 54 percent saying no pineapple uh, i don't like them how crazy is that so we had like a total of 24 people voting for pineapple 28 for no pineapple and honestly i mean that's yeah, that's, pretty 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 long, that's, yeah. A, that's a pretty unanimous that's yeah. a pretty intense fan group right there pineapple <laughs> Well, and it was uh, always, whenever I'd see a post, like, someone sharing it, such as my mom. Yeah. She was getting all upset. My mom, she was, she took a picture of pineapple pizza that she ate the other day and sent it to me. I was like, look what I'm eating. It's like, <laughs> Ooh, savage. Really? Look what better. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> nice. Mm, well, either way, we'll try to have a new argument and discussion on Friday. Oh, yes. But... Thanks for listening to this April 1st edition of the Morning Apple. We'll see you Wednesday.